So welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Before I actually get into the video, I just want to show you guys real quick my workstation. Uh, I'm currently away for the weekend with a few friends uh, for a little, uh, you know, content creation retreat, uh, as well as just an opportunity for me to see a bigger, you know, to think a uh, big picture and to really diagnose where I'm at in life. Uh, I like taking, you know, some time off. Um, and if it can be with friends, then even better. But just want to give you guys a little look into what my current uh, workstation is looking like. So, so we come up here and then is this little tower uh, we've got views pretty much 360 and uh, that's my workstation right there um, and uh, just the nature here is is honestly incredible and really one thing about me is for me there's nothing like nature to get clarity um, and to really just you know have a, a breath of a fresh air almost so great location uh, but let's go right into the video so in this video, as you've probably seen in the title, I'm going to be going over why I think SMA is by far the best online business and financial vehicle that you can get into, especially if you're just a beginner and you're just trying to make some, some you know, additional income or really just start an online business and, and get your foot through the door in the business world. Um, I'm not only gonna be covering why I think SMA is by far the best online business, but I'm also gonna be diving deep into other financial vehicles. I'm talking dropshipping, Shopify, uh, Amazon FBA, crypto, et cetera, et cetera, and giving you my take on why I think SMA is just superior uh, in many, many uh, different ways, right? Now, I'm not gonna be bashing other online businesses. In fact, before I actually got into SMA, I made that my main income stream. I actually tried a bunch of other financial vehicles, which gives me the, the ability to actually speak uh, to actually speak about them, right? And, and give my personal take on them. And so the reason why I think SMMA is superior in many ways is because there's no other online business out there that has more longevity than SMMA. The reason why I say this is because a lot of people get this wrong, but SMMA, the principles behind SMMA are gonna be here almost forever, as long as business is around, right? Because every single business needs marketing. Every single business is always in need of more eyeballs, right? Or, you know, to sell more, right? Um, every single business will, you know, f will forever need marketing. And so the reason why SMA is so powerful is because the, the underpriced attention is digital marketing. And so that's why SMA, social media marketing agency, is so powerful. I'm not saying, you know, in 20 years, it might not be SMA, but the principles still hold in place. Businesses will always need marketing agencies. And so that is also one of the great things about SMA, right? There's a lot of flexibility with it. If, for example, you know, take my agency as an example, we're not romantic about any platform. Um, we, we're not a Facebook ads agency, we're not a Snapchat agency, we're not a, an Instagram agency or a TikTok agency. The, you know, the platforms that we focus on are the platforms that are gonna generate the highest return on investment for our clients. And so if, for example, you know, at this point in time, when you're watching this video, TikTok is the best platform to advertise where we're gonna get you know, the, the lowest cost per purchase and we're gonna be able to scale much, fast, uh, much faster and more profitably for our clients than we'll be on that platform. So the thing about SMA is it's very, very agile, right? You can take in so many different directions. You can pick different, you know, you can pick different services. You can pick different niches. For example, our agency serves e-commerce clients. But if in 20 years time, e-commerce is not the, you know, the best way to do business, but instead people are selling on, on the cloud or something like that, then we'd probably shift to that niche because that's where, you know, we can capitalize on the best and we can serve our clients the best. And so. What I want you guys to, to understand is that the principles that are in place when building a marketing agency will always be around. Businesses will always need marketing and agencies will always have businesses to offer their services. What the best agencies will do is they will adapt to the, you know, to the actual times um, and be able to provide as much value to their client according to current trends. But the principles will always be around. And so when I see a lot of people saying, you know, what, what if SMA dies, in, it dies off in, in a year or, or five years, what are you gonna do? And the thing is, that's that's never gonna happen, right? I might have to, to switch directions and maybe in five years or 10 years, SMA is not my main, uh, you know, it's not my main income stream or, or, my, or my financial vehicle or something that still makes me passionate. But if it does, everything will still hold in place. Maybe I'll have to, I'll have to shift gears a bit. Uh, maybe I'll have to hire new people or maybe uh, you know, switch around my service delivery, but the, the whole principle um, will still apply and there'll still be clients that I can serve. So that is on the SMA front. Let's now take a look at other financial vehicles like crypto or dropshipping. The, the, the things that I see with those financial vehicles is that they might be here today, but there's no guarantee that they'll be here in 10 years or 20 years. In fact, we've seen it with dropshipping where it's starting to die off. Obviously, the winners will always win, but it's much harder, for example, to get um, results with Facebook ads. So people 
can as easily start. Um, also Facebook advertising and, and all these online advertising platforms, which I know a lot about because we do this for our clients, are really starting to crack on a lot of dropshipping stores because of the bad customer experience. And in 2020 and really moving forward, there's nothing more important than that customer experience. And, and you know, Facebook and all these online advertising platforms want their users to be extremely happy. And so, yeah, it's not as easy to, to advertise on Facebook. Uh, with dropshipping as well, you know, people don't wanna wait three weeks, four weeks uh, for their product. And also there's there's a growing awareness, right? Um, there's a growing awareness that a lot of brands, well, what they're doing is they're just shipping straight from Alibaba. And a lot of people are, are bypassing that and going straight to Alibaba because they know they can just, you know, do the, the exact same thing as a lot of dropshipping stores. And so that is the, the problem that I see with dropshipping. It might have worked before, it might still work, but in five years, it's very, very, you know, just, just seeing the, the current landscape for uh, e-commerce, I would bet that dropshipping is not gonna be as prevalent or it's not gonna be as profitable. My, you know, there, there will always be a certain very small percentage that can really crack it, but it can die off. And, uh, you know, e-commerce will for sure be around for many, many more years to come. And uh, to be honest, I think the, you know, e-commerce has really just started, but dropshipping that business model might not be around uh, in the next five years. Now, I know I, I might get a bit of a, a tough laugh uh, from a lot of dropshippers and from a lot of people that are doing dropshipping, but I truly, truly believe that um, not only me, but I mean, I've spoken to countless dropshippers as well in the space and they also know that it's really starting to die off. And so that is dropshipping, for example. Let's go into something like crypto. And, and the thing about this, guys, is yes, I'm talking about dropshipping or crypto, but these principles and, and these ideas can be applied to a lot of online businesses and financial vehicles that I see out there having the same problem, which is longevity. And so the thing about crypto is it's kind of just a crease, right? It, it's it's something that a lot of people will flock into because it, it's, don't get me wrong, it's, it's been a great opportunity to make money, but does it really have longevity? Is it, is, you know, can you, can you create something worthwhile? Can you, build, can you build an actual business? Can you provide value to people? Um, and something like crypto, you, you can't really do that. Crypto uh, and, and trading stocks, for example, is not really predictable either. Uh, yes, you can really hone your skills and, and you can predict uh, certain things, but uh, it's a lot less predictable than something like building an actual business with a team around you and actually have a, a, a clientele, for example. And so that is what I see with crypto as well. Uh, there's no predictability, it can go up and down. And in my opinion, that will never allow you to sleep very well at night. And so that's what I see with crypto and e-commerce and a bunch of other online businesses. Um, I'm not gonna get into every single online business out there, but that's where I see a lot of online businesses go wrong is yes, there's a, you know, there's a great opportunity to make money. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you shouldn't jump on them, but if you're also looking to build an actual business, if you're looking to have longevity, and you're actually looking to build transferable skills that you can apply to other facets of your life, uh, whether it's a passion project that involves creating a business around it or, or anything like really, building an, an agency, building a, an SMA is by far the best financial vehicle out there. So guys, that is it for today's video. That's why I think SMA is by far the best financial vehicle uh, to get into in 2020 uh, and really beyond, and why I think SMA is gonna be here today and also tomorrow, and, and why I think it has incredible longevity compared to other financial vehicles out there. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, it really helps a lot with the algorithm. Also leave down below any questions, any comments you may have about the video. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and, and do so. Uh, there's so much content coming out. In fact, during this uh, content creation retreat, I'm, I'm really looking to, to create a, a ton of content uh, that's gonna be coming out in the next few weeks uh, on my channel. And so if you don't wanna miss it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And lastly, guys, go ahead and check out the link in bio. That is a link to my free Facebook group community, a group of like-minded people trying to level up in life and scale their agency. I've captured out 100 people. My mission with this group is to provide 100x the value of most free Facebook groups out there. Um, so far, people are loving it. And so if you wanna check it out, go ahead and click the link in bio. And as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your entrepreneurship journey. Yeah, and I'll speak to you in the next one. Peace.